Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. So have you come across a scenario where you have connected your Power BI to an Excel data source and when you have tried to add a new column into your Excel file, the BI does not detect the new column that is added automatically. So how do you fix that issue over here? So for example, I have this particular uh, Excel file over here with just these two columns. So let's try and import this file into BI and then add a new column into this CSV file that I have over here and try and refresh if that works. If that does not work, then how do we add the columns automatically into BI? So let's get started with this tutorial. So let's jump over here and click on import data from Excel and select all files because what I have is a CSV file over here. So when, let's select this, let's click on transform data because we need to make some changes to this particular file because the uh, column headers are incorrect for me in the first place. So I'm going to click on use first row as headers over here. So the column headers get fixed. However, let's go back to our data set here uh, and try to add a new column over here. Let's just add a test column over here and we're going to call this as have one value for everything okay let's go back here to bi and then try to refresh this particular uh, table that we have over here and if you see here we've not got the third column so even if i refresh the view from here and click on refresh all you will not see third column appearing over here the new column that we've just added so this thing happens particularly with the csv file this does not happen with the dot xlx file so i'm going to teach you how to fix this all you have to do is click on advanced editor over here so when this uh, m code pops up over here you need to find the columns over here which is uh, the number of columns that we have in our data set. So what you need to do is just change this to three and then click on done and you will automatically see that the third column has now appeared in our database. However, this is not the nicest option to have because uh, every time you add a new column to your data set, you will have to manually go to the advanced editor and make changes here to the number of columns over here. So uh, the other workaround here that you need to do is um, what you need to do instead of mentioning the column numbers over here, just type in null over here and then click on done. So when you do this, nothing really changes over here. However, when you try to add a new column over here and uh, let's add some value over here, save this file and go back over here. And now if we refresh preview, you will automatically see the, uh, the new column that we, that we added is also appearing over here. However, if we just had three over here, that the new column that we added would not appear over here. That would simply disappear. So what you need to do is you need to add null value here instead of three so that it will consider all the columns that you have in your data set. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.